Hi everyone, this is Jennifer here. Welcome back to CD Reality. And today we will be talking about Disney Parks Rapunzel doll. Now this doll you can only find at the Disney Parks. Now, I really do love this box. Here, we're gonna take a look at her in the box. And so here she is in the box, it says, Disney Princess in that beautiful fancy writing right there. It also says has the Disney logo, Disney Parks. I do love that too. And here's it says Rapunzel for ages three and up. Disney's Rapunzel, and I believe that is how you say her name in French. Here is Rapunzel's picture. So here we'll take a look at the doll and we'll take a closer look. She is just so gorgeous in that in that box. You've just got to admit that. So here's the face. The face is very beautiful and I love her eyes and I do love the face makeup that they gave her. She has freckles. Next we'll look at the hair and I have to say that most of you guys will probably agree to me with me that this hair is the most thickness or the most thick hair and it's very very beautiful and the dress is also if I had to say, if you guys could agree with me on this too, that this dress is the most accurate dress, I had to say, t to the movie. Because I don't know if the Disney store have ever made this kind of dress, but this dress really is, like, really accurate to the dress that she wears in the movie. I don't know if the Disney store, I would have to see if the Disney store made what the Disney store's first Rapunzel doll looked like. I'm sure, I know there was the 10 pack Rapunzel, but she doesn't have the sleeves. It was close, but wasn't too, wasn't that close. Okay, so anyway, the dress and the hair is very beautiful. She also comes with a hairbrush, and I love this hairbrush. They all come with a hairbrush. Disney Parks always does a hairbrush. Rapunzel's is specially made for her. It's all unique. And this brush to me reminds me of the brush in the movie and it looks just like it to me. And also in the box I love the background. You can see the castle and Rapunzel's tower. Well let's turn it around. You can see the side glance. And here's Rapunzel. I can see, see her feet. She's wearing no shoes. So true, accurate to the movie. Thank you, Disney, for that. Here is the back of the box, and you can see the castle. I think that's either that's either Cinderella's or Aurora's. That doesn't look like anything in the Disney Parks, um, you know, Disney World's castle. So that's probably Sleeping Beauty's. And also, here's the tower. And here is Rapunzel. It's a very beautiful illustration of her. Here, down the bottom, you can see Rapunzel's story. If you want to pause and read it, go on. You can also see it in the other language, which is French, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. And as I was saying, this picture here is the reference of Rapunzel. And... As we all know, Rapunzel is 3D animation. So the dress that she's wearing right now is obviously it's not going to match this this in the background because this looks nothing like it. Because it's like you know sparkly all this, and then Rapunzel is like has like flowers and all that stuff. And of course, we all know this that uh, the 3D animation princesses like Merida and also Anna and Elsa and Newly Moana and of course Rapunzel are all 3D animation. But 
they will also, this part, this Rapunzel picture is more in, like, the Disney Princess merchandise. Like, this would be on all the merchandise, and surely you guys all know this, too. So, that's all I gotta say about this doll. In the future, I will open this one day. Um, I may, um, save her for a made-to-move doll ever to put her on, because I do love this doll, and in the future, I will be going to Disney, too, and I hope to, um, get a Belle and a Tiana doll, and, because I think their dresses are very beautiful, and I'm very lucky to have this Rapunzel dress, too, because, you know, if one day I do want to put her on a made to move body, I can't, because these dolls, these ones do not have articulation. But, that's all I have to say for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and comment down the video if you liked it or not, subscribe, and let me know if you enjoyed listening to me, or if you, if you think I'm rambling too much, or, you know, give me some tips. Thank you guys, peace and love. See you guys. God bless.